Many thanks for staying with us. Let's now bring you some breaking news that we're getting in our studio. Dr. Njoroke, Njoroge Mugai is dead. Mugai is a former cabinet minister and once held a foreign affairs docket. For those of you who know the history of the country, you will recall that he is a name that needs to be remembered. Let me bring in my colleague, Jeff Koinange. Jeff, what do we know? Well, Linda, we just heard that about 9 o'clock this morning, uh, Dr. Jorge Mungai succumbed after being in hospital ICU for a few weeks. Uh, I spoke to his daughter, Nyakeo. Uh, family is obviously grieving. He has been ill for a while. But more importantly, Dr. Jorge Mungai will be remembered as a man who spearheaded a lot of initiatives in the early years post-independence. He, he was foreign minister, like you mentioned, for many years, very instrumental in bringing the United Nations to Kenya. He was also defense minister during the infamous shifter wars of the 70s. Uh, he, he, he was one of those early Kenyans who studied overseas in South Africa, Fort Hare University, before going on to Stanford University to study medicine coming back home and being part of the post-independence rebuilding of this country. He was 88 years old, and I recall uh, the last interview I had with him on JKL was last December. And uh, this man, I tell you, even at that age, he was a walking, talking encyclopedia of knowledge and history. It's a great man, uh, Linda, and I uh, really enjoyed uh, being in his presence and, uh, and, and chatting with him. He was, he was a really good guy. Jeff Konange, thank you so much. Of course, our condolences go to his family. And as you have mentioned, Jeff, you hosted him at JKL. That was last December. Um, let's take a look at that clip and just remember who this man is. A special Kenya at 50. Throughout this holiday season, we'll be bringing you a series of special interviews focusing on those who were there at Independence. And in case you're wondering where we're recording from, we are at the Windsor Golf Hotel and Country Club. Thus, the beautiful fairways and pictures and scenery right around us. On the bench today, I tell you, I've said this before and I'll say it again. This man is a walking, talking encyclopedia of history. He turns 88 in January. He happened to share the same birthday. But he's part of a unique class. They call themselves the class of 45. Because several of them from Alliance Boys, Alliance High School, when they graduated and finished their studies, came back, six of them, make that six, were part of the first administration of President Nse Jomo Kenyatta. That says something, no doubt. Yes, he did go to Alliance and then on to Fort Hare, and then one of the first Kenyan students to go to Stanford Medical School. Came back and grew out. He, was, he served as defense minister under the first Kenyatta and was also his personal physician. Imagine the kinds of stories he has to tell, and with Kenya turning 50, it's only fair we ask Dr. Joroge Mungai Magana. Doctor, great to see you. Thank you. You don't look 87 turning 88. You don't look it. <laughs> Thank you. Life has been good, huh? Yeah, January 7, I turn 88. You and me, well, I turn 48. Oh. Congratulations. And you. <laughs> and you. Let's go back. This Alliance class of 45. You, you guys, what, what was it unique? What was so unique about you all? Well, first of all, what was unique, it was Alliance High School. In itself, it was unique. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the class, but it also happened that they went to, to school at the right time, and they happened to be there at the right time to serve this nation when their services were required. And uh, they didn't all serve under Jomo Kenyatta. They spread out because some of them served under Moy, President Moy. And those people, if I started from the coast, one was Mr. Robert Matano, and then coming on inwards, you have Mr. Bernard Matti, he became a minister. He was also speaker of the National Assembly. Then Mr. Keale Mwendoa. Then Dr. Keano, Dr. Nkonyo Keano, yes. Dr. Monywa Waiyaki, and Dr. Magana Jiroge Mungai. Six of you. Six of them became.